Right, everybody needs one of these in their life. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses, because this thing is so cool. Hello and welcome to another budget and leg video. Yes, we have my new plasma cutter. It's a Passini plasma cutter. As you can see, it's the Dash 60, which we'll go into in a second. The reason why I got this is because it's got a pilot arc as well, which we'll go into in detail later. But everybody always moans about me using very expensive tools and you know, the average person isn't gonna buy it. So I got this from a website who anybody can afford tools from. So I will link the website down below, but they have every brand for everybody. And even this, this I got this because it was on special offer. Even this compared to the other brands out there is a third of the price. So they do have a slightly cheaper one, but I went for this one because it has the pilot arc and it can cut a hell of a lot thicker steel. So all the links will be down below, but let's crack this bad boy open. Passini plasma cutter, they do a 40 and they do a 60. I got the 60 one because it's just bigger. Um, and as we all know, bigger is better. We've got the earth cable. We've got the power cable. Oh, that's the actual plasma torch. And the other good thing about this is um, the company will actually provide you. You can buy spare torches. You can buy everything for this. So you're not just, if you damage the torch or if you damage anything, you can actually get new torches and everything that will fit straight onto the machine. What else have we got in here? Oh, this is the little gauge. Um, for the air light, we'll go into that. And then the main unit is this bad boy here. Look at that. Bikini. Awesome. Right, and there we go. Like that's who I actually got it from. And the reason the other reason I got it is because one, it was on special offer, but the other one is because they give a three-year warranty with this which when I was looking for plasma cutters, I couldn't find one um, anywhere near this price that does this with a three year warranty. It's normally a one year warranty. Um, so you can see that's the front of it. Very fancy. We're gonna be showing this bad boy in action very soon. All right, let's just have a look. Nice, I'll just turn that around so you can see the gauge. Nice. So there's the gauge. It's a nice, it's a nice unit. Nice and weighty, feels nice. Doesn't feel really cheap crap, um, which is obviously good. So what I'm gonna do is we'll turn this bad boy on and we'll show you why I got this particular one because it's got the pilot arc. The way I also see it is, yes, I could have gone for the smaller one because it's obviously cheaper, I'm not going to use this to its full potential in the sense of I'm not going to be cutting. I think I think on the website it was like 20 mil. I'll have to double check. Yeah, I just had a quick look on the website and it can cut up to 20 mil, which is unbelievable. Now, I'm not going to be using that. And the way I also like to do things is if you if I bought the cheaper one, um, I will be, you know, maybe putting the cheaper one to its limits, which means it's not going to last as long. You get a bigger unit and you don't use it to its limits. It's just going to last you long, just like anything. You know, if you don't rev an engine absolutely balled out and, you know, it's going to last longer. So that's the way I kind of over get something that I, is bigger than what I need. So then I'm only literally using it on tick over. I'm not using it on full power. Now, my dad might be using it on a lot more uh cutting power than me but i'm going to be using it for the citroen cx that's coming up very very soon we're doing a full restoration on the citroen cx and we're also going to be doing my uh, cosworth transit um but i am i have to leave the cosworth transit for a minute because like everything it's money so i am trying to get a sponsor for the cosworth transit so i can do everything i want to do with it and you know basically do it to how I want, not kind of restrict it. So we will now be next turning this bad boy on and showing you what it can do. Right, let's plug this cut 60 in. So I'll just switch it in on the back. And nice, there's some really nice 
fans on that which is awesome and yeah so we're gonna make this bad boy sing right another thing i like about this is because any of these type of stuff you know you've got big capacitors holding an awful lot of power and when you turn it off the fans stay on to completely drain the capacitors. That's what I'm guessing. I could be wrong, but I think I'm pretty much certain. And then it switches off, which is really nice, actually, because it means there's not a lot of power stored up in there, potentially going to uh, send you six foot across the uh, workshop. So I really do like that feature. Some of the really cheap, crappy ones don't have that feature, and it can be a bit scary. Right, also, I believe that they will deliver to um, like mainland Europe. I don't know so much of the UK anymore because of Brexit and all the import duties and stuff. It might be too expensive, but mainland Europe to deliver. The other reason I got this is because there's an 80% duty cycle on this and uh, that suits me for the climate that I am in. Right, I have finally got it all working all up and as you can see, it's completely maxed out. I'm going to be doing another video on tips and tricks on a plasma cutter and I'll explain why I always leave it maxed out. Um, so watch that other video before you make any comments and then you'll understand why. Right, it didn't come with this little pipe here which is pretty annoying. I spoke to them and um, it just doesn't come with it unfortunately but I think they are going to slightly change it around for the next load. But yeah, just bear in mind if you do get one fairly soon you're going to have to make a little pipe up here and then your airline just goes into it. This particular one needs 6 bar of pressure. So make sure whichever one you've got, you've got the right pressure because otherwise it won't work properly. So what we're going to do first, we're just going to show you this thing working. And like I said, this is just a quick unboxing. That's the company. Um, a quick unboxing and you're going to need some safety gear. So you're going to need some glasses or some sort of shield, gloves and a mask. Right, the best thing about having a pilot arc, now I know this stuff is really, really thin, so you don't particularly need a plasma cutter, but if, you, if you're cutting any kind of mesh material, especially if it's thick, with a normal plasma cutter, you keep having to press the trigger, cut, stop, cut, stop, cut, stop, and it's really annoying. With the pilot arc, you paint and rust, it doesn't really affect anything. So the pilot car is now on, well, it's on anyway, but as you can see, I won't have to start and stop. All I've got to do is press the trigger and go for it. There we go. I didn't have to keep stopping and starting, stopping and starting. It's just a continuous cut. Now, what I'm going to do with this, the way I have this set up is everyone's got their own personal preference. The way I use a plasma cutter is I put the, the, the tip straight onto the workpiece. Yes, that does burn through consumables a hell of a lot more, but you get a nicer cut and I whack, the, I whack it up to full blast. And the reason is, it's not too bad when you're cutting five and six mil stuff. That's not really an issue. But when you're cutting sheet metal, especially thin sheet metal, if you turn it down, you need to go longer. So basically, you need to you need to put the torch on and you need to go slower because it, it's not as powerful. And the slower you go with sheet metal, the more heat you're going to put into it, the more chance you've got of warping it. So I turn it up full blast and just go really fast. And... Uh, I will be showing in other videos this once I'm once I'm doing a few cars and stuff because I am going to be uh, restoring a couple of cars on my channel very soon. The Citroen CX is going to be one of them, and I'm going to be cutting out a lot of panels. And it is really important when you're dealing with like one mil and 0 0.6 mil, 0 0.7 mil sheet. It's just going to warp so easy. And when you just turn it up full blast and you cut it really fast, I can hold the piece of metal straight away afterwards. Where if I turn it down and go really slow. I can't hold it. You're putting that much heat into the panel. It's just, it just doesn't work. Big heavy stuff doesn't really make a difference. But that's the reason why I'm just going to whack it up full blast, no matter what I'm cutting, and turn the air up full blast. Because the more, the, the higher you have it turned up, the, the more air you need. So that's the rate, that's the reason why I do it. It works for me. And believe me, if you've ever cut sheet metal, you will understand. If you If you don't want your sheet metal to warp, turn it up full blast and just go for it because let's just say for example this piece here let's say you can cut that we'll just say 10 seconds on full blast now it's most probably longer but i'm just giving you a rough idea where if i was to turn it down i maybe be 40 seconds on this piece 
that's how long of a difference you're, you're talking about. And that's 40 seconds or 30 seconds more, 40 seconds more, whatever it is, putting that much more heat into the panel, which is going to cause thin metal to warp. So it's up to you how you want to do it, but that's the way I'm doing it. Right, what I'm going to be cutting today is just this piece of twisted old metal. It's around 7 mil here, and it's a lot, lot thicker there. Um, so we're just going to cut the twist out of this. As you can see, this is as rusty as it gets. This has been outside for years, full of water, lot, um, and really, really rusty. But this is where pilot arc really comes into play because you don't have to have proper metal. Uh, you don't have to grind it all down. You can just cut straight through it uh, as opposed to one that doesn't have a pilot arc. Just little things like that. So yeah, we're going to do it outside too. So uh, we're just going to, yeah, just see the few cuts we're going to make. Right, as you can see, and listen to this, we are dealing with very old crappy airline here, which is not good for a plasma cutter. Right, as you can see, rusty old metal. I haven't prepared it, I haven't done anything, apart from just putting the uh, earth clamp right there. We're outside as well. And, let's see this. There we go. That's a bit too fast in the first bit. But you can see, now granted, it's not a great a great edge, but you can just see how quick just see how quick that went through. I'm gonna get a straight edge now and just do a nice straight edge cut so you can see the difference. Right, and look at that. See how, now I cut it at an angle because I was holding the torch at an angle, but just look how nice that's cut it. Again, you know, if you're using angle grinders or anything like that, it just takes you so much. If you're just cutting pieces of metal up to, uh, you know, get rid of them and stuff, see how quick and easy it is. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you the sheet metal, rusty sheet metal. Um, and yeah, so there we go, it's nice. See, you get it? Can I, can I get it in? Just saying how fast it is and clean.
top corner. And it was doing really nice until I was hitting the welds and it was yeah, jumping. Well, that's obviously that's just plain. Yeah, I knew that you could see that you were just hitting the it's like anything there that you can get. Right, just look at that. See that? That's rusty old metal. Did not um, pre uh, prepare it. The only time it was jumping, you see these welds here. And the the because I was running the, I was running the torch along here, so it was jumping on the welds. But you can see, hopefully, just how neat. I'll get that piece of metal out, but just how neat that did it. Right, just to give you an idea of what, even though that's a little bit rusty, but you can see that's you know basically a a, a new piece of steel. See how rusty this is compared to that, and yet outside leaking airline, all the usual. It's such a small edge the camera doesn't want to focus but believe me look that's untreated that's not even sharp just look how nice it was only when i was catching welds that's when i was struggling on the actual because i was running against the frame but i see the bottom where it was perfectly no welds no nothing it's a shame the camera's not picking this up because this is be really nice to show Right, ignore the leaking airline, but hopefully I have explained, you know, the advantage of a, of, of a pilot arc. That's why I went for this particular one, because it has the pilot arc. Rusty metal, no problem, cuts, just look at that cut, absolutely perfect. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this, you're going to be seeing this when I'm when I'm restoring cars and stuff and all sorts. So this, this is going to be used, this was just a quick demonstration of essentially what it can do. Um... Conditions weren't perfect by any stretch of imagination. We was outside, you know, wind was blowing, airline was leaking, so we wasn't getting full pressure. You know, the usual stuff. But you can clearly see, and obviously all the metal was all twisted and horrible. You can see the difference once it's nice and straight. So that's it. I'll leave all the links down below where you can get this from in Ireland. And they will deliver to other places. It just, it just depends on import duty and taxes and carriage and all that sort of stuff. You know the usual stuff so just check it out before you order anything but there you go so as always hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below but most important don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted